are right now joined by uh, one of the attorneys of the Trump legal team. She is defense attorney Sidney Powell. She joins us by phone. Sidney, great to have you with us. Let me uh, let me ask you first, uh, where does the battle from your from your viewpoint stand tonight? It stands as needing a lot more work done because we're inundated with reports of fraud ranging from statistical analysis and incredible anomalies of hundreds of thousands of votes being injected repeatedly into voting systems, particularly in right. uh, in Wayne County, Michigan, and in Wisconsin. Uh, there were over a million votes injected on behalf of Mr. Biden into the system that don't seem to trace to anybody else, and the same number was repeatedly injected. And now we've got affidavits uh, that were just filed by um, another firm in, in Michigan uh, explaining that there were all kinds of shenanigans going on in Wayne County. It's really a dramatic affidavit. I've uh, just sent a copy of it to your staff, so hopefully you can pull some of the exact language from it. But vans pulled up with nice. big containers of what had to be votes because the votes of 100,000 or more mysteriously appeared. And the data bears that out, that, uh, that things, you know, votes that were not proper were injected into the system as well. The, the the accounts of uh, voter fraud in various uh, in various forms across the country, but particularly in the battleground states, uh, these are numerous. And uh, you know, as uh, journalists, uh, Fox Business uh, is pretty good at counting, but to maintain any kind of count here is uh, swamping everybody. Uh, and I would think, particularly the the White House and the campaign headquarters. Because you've asked for uh, for all you know anyone to to uh, alert you to these possible frauds, uh, it's got to be uh, absolutely a, a tidal wave, based on what just uh, the uh, the portion that we have seen. Uh, is there sufficient staff? I, I, are you looking for volunteers? Uh, are there more lawyers to be uh, hired? What is the plan there? Well, I'm actually undertaking my own sort of independent effort now. I have started a website called DefendingTheRepublic.org where people can donate to the fund because I want this fraud fully prosecuted on behalf of the voters and the American people that deserve election integrity and to know that their legal votes count and were not eradicated by fraud or by illegal votes of other people. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's just going to take a much more uh, vigorous effort than I see being conducted right now. Well, it's uh, it's very difficult to understand uh, uh, what uh, all must be happening uh, at the top levels of the legal team. Are more suits have they been filed today? There was another. There was a supplemental suit filed in Michigan today, and there's going to be a suit filed in Georgia very soon. One thing people need to start screaming about in Georgia is the inability to conduct a reliable. Uh, a second election there. They were going to have to do a, an election, a runoff election in Georgia. That shouldn't be happening when voting machines aren't working properly and there are statistical anomalies and injected votes there also. The system is completely unreliable. They've already ordered a recount, but a forensic audit needs to be done of those voting machines, and there are no circumstances under which they should proceed yeah. to a runoff election for anybody until everything has been cured. You know, as you say, a forensic audit as opposed to an audit. The experts I'm talking with uh, say that an audit is just worthless. Uh, the classic uh, audit uh, in a recount uh, because all of the damage that may have been done uh, to the software that is making uh, discrete judgments that don't involve voters, uh, that's a, a, a huge problem here. Sidney Powell, it's always great to have you with us. We thank you. Good luck.